Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Let's get right to that breaking news in San Jose. And we're looking live at the scene of a deadly hit and run. This happened just within the last hour. Police say a pedestrian was hit by a car at the intersection of Monterey Highway and Kirtner Avenue. And police have partially closed down the northbound lanes. This is the city's 15th traffic fatality of the year. New at 11, new questions tonight in Alameda after the city revealed a fourth person who is not a police officer was involved in the death of Mario Gonzalez while in custody, a civilian city employee. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano spoke to a former Bay Area police sergeant who takes us step by step through how the incident was handled. Andrea? Yeah, Liz, there are many different perspectives on this case. The family of Mario Gonzalez feel he was murdered by police, and some in the community are questioning the use of force. But this one police sergeant says that he feels the officers acted appropriately. If I thought the officers did anything wrong, I would absolutely point it out. Frederick Cotto used to work for the San Jose Police Department and spent time in internal affairs investigating officers. He says police had every right to handcuff Mario Gonzalez. If he doesn't want to be handcuffed, you can't just say, well, all right, we're not going to handcuff you because they had reason to. And again, a handcuff's not the end of the world. It means you, we're just going to protect you from hurting yourself or anybody else. But as officers take Mario Gonzalez down to the ground, an officer can be seen placing his knee on the Oakland man's shoulder area for several minutes. This is where retired Superior Court Judge Ladoris Cordell feels police unnecessarily escalated the situation. What they did was escalate the situation by using force. So they closed in on him and then laid hands on him, got one cuff on his right hand, and he resisted pulling away with his left hand. And the body cam footage shows a civilian now being identified by the city of Alameda as a parking enforcement employee. The man is seen holding Gonzalez's legs. I certainly welcome anybody that wants to help take someone safely into custody. That's great. Even a civilian passing by. However, uh, because they are a city employee, they kind of expose themselves to a little bit of liability once they start jumping into the fray without the proper training. There are still a lot of questions in this case. The autopsy results have not been released yet. And there are three separate investigations going on, including one outside independent review in Alameda. Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5. All right, Andrea, thank you.